Good afternoon, everybody. This is Ben back again, and happy first day of August to all of you out there. Um, I hope you're enjoying it so far. I know I am, which is good, which is great. Um, but anyways, I am now back for another comparison video in which I'm now going to compare two different versions of Chicken Run. Of course, on the left is the 2000 VHS, and on the right is the 2000 DVD. Well, the original 2000 DVD release. Um, so anyways, let's... Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? First up, as you know, this is the tape. This is the original 2000 VHS release of the film in which... This I got the at the Salvation Army at Southfield back in... Way back in the late August of 2018. This was after the... This was after I first started going there. I think it was the second time or third time I got this. Because I know back when I used to get all these tapes I used to get like 40 or 30 something tapes but then I declined them once I was running out of space in my room here in my room so or kind of running out of space at the time but anyways it's, it says from the creators of Walsh and Gromit um, which is Ardman of course the year's funniest movie by Andrew Johnston of US Weekly so yep yeah, here's the side and the back Superb Family Fun by Jeffrey Lyons of WNBC TV and Roger Ebert of Roger Ebert and the Movies calls Chicken Run is the year's most original comedy hailed by critics and audience alike as ma magical attainment for all ages. And Two Thumbs Up also by Roger Ebert of Ebert Roper and the Movies. So, yep. This is, um, this is a pretty good film. I haven't, um... I remember watching this uh, when I was a kid, much like uh, Shrek and uh, like the Shrek movies and all that. Um, um, and I I haven't seen um, I don't think um, I've seen most of it, but I haven't really seen like all of it. I remember some scenes from it, um, like at the time, and it's it's pretty good. I don't know what I think of it now though, but it, it is still pretty good. You know, it is um, you know, a lot of people um. You know, this is a fan favorite, of course. You know, it's one of Arvin's most popular films. Um, and last year, um, and this film also uh, celebrated its 20th anniversary last year, which is great. Um, but anyways, we got the label, ink label. And the print date is September 18th, 2000, which was printed just a day after my father's birthday. Um, which is great. And it also... Um, came with this it's a little business reply card uh from dreamworks at the time it's basically just uh, like a little questionnaire kind of thing and on the back it has their uh this was dreamworks home entertainment's original address which used to be located at el paso texas um but of course it's not there anymore since the um since DreamWorks no longer, you know, distributes uh, their own stuff on DVD or Blu-ray, it's usually uh, Paramount nowadays. Um, and also, like, with their new movie, newer movies with uh, Universal um, and other studios, so... Yeah, but this is a pretty good VHS. I know lots of YouTube users uh, have it. And, uh... So this tape, um... It opens with the warning screen, and then the coming to theaters bumper... And then it has a teaser trailer for Shrek, which will be coming to theaters the next year in 2001, since this is a 2000 VHS. And then the available exclusively on video and DVD bumper then has previews for The Road to El Dorado, Joseph King of Dreams, The Land Before Time 10, The Big Freeze, uh, Casper's Haunted Christmas, and Galaxy Quest. And then the format screen, the DreamWorks Pictures logo, and then the film. And then after the movie's over, it has the still version of the DreamWorks logo, and then it has the ink credit uh, versions, well, print logos technically, of Argman and Paith, respectively. Which, um, and then, and then after that, um, that's, that's it. After those logos appear, it's the tape, it's blank screen, and that's it. Of course, um, DreamWorks did release this movie in all territories, like here in the U.S. and other countries. Um, including Australia, except for um, most, like, in some areas in Europe, like the UK, which is where this movie was made from, and also France, because over there, in those two countries, Pate distributed the film. Uh, 
paid uh, distributors. And also, the here in America, it opens with the DreamWorks logo, while in those two countries, it opens with the Paith logo and the Armin logo, and then the film. Um, so yeah. But anyways, that is, there you go for the VHS. Now we're going to go on to DVD, which this DVD I had for years in my collection. I had this since, since when I was a kid. Um, uh, yeah, I had this since I was a kid. Of course, this is the original cover art, as you can see. It does, because I know the uh, reissues of this, like the one from 2006, um, has the DreamWorks animation border around it. And also recently with just the main characters and the colors and the... Uh, with like one or two characters on the front cover, but this is the original release, the with the from two thousand with the special edition, and also the late nineties and early two thousands DVDs have the DreamWorks Home Entertainment logo on the bottom right corner. So yeah, this is the original cover art. You can, as you can tell, it has the same reviews and stuff, but a different front cover art and a back cover art as well than the ones from the than the one from the tape. Of course, special features include director's commentary with Peter Lord and Nick Park, DVD ROM on screen fun, two excellent interactive games, desktop icons and pets, calculators, screensavers and poster sets. Read along to the hilarious script, two fascinating behind the scenes featurettes, screaming chicken panic button and trailers, bios production notes and other hidden surprises. Of course um the the trailers that are on this DVD, um, it basically it's basically just two theatrical trailers for the film. One is the regular official trailer, and then they have another one that's like a spoof of Mission Possible Two because that was coming out at the time uh, when this uh, when this was released, and then has one TV spot for the film, and then also has the sh the and then. And then, and then it has the, the Shrek teaser that was from the VHS. It's the only preview that's been imported from the VHS to the DVD. In which, at the time, uh, the, Sh the Shrek teaser, it, it's, basically, it's the one that has the prototype Shrek logo at the end. And it also is the one that opens with the, the bookshelf uh, and the hand pulling out the Shrek book. And then, foot then it shows footage from the film. Um, so, yeah. But anyways, um... This is a good DVD to have. Um, it's out of print now because of all the reissues that's been, you know, coming out all these years. Um, but it's still good to have. No guide, but here's the disc with the movie. So, so there you go. That is it for the DVD. And that is it for my comparison of two different versions of Chicken Run. And I'll see you again, uh, hopefully, um, later, like maybe... Um, I don't know, if, I'm not sure about tonight though, I mean, I have been planning on making more videos, but I just don't know when time, exactly, exactly have time, but, if I'm up for it though, I mean, I know I keep putting it off, but maybe hopefully for sure I'll be able to do it, maybe another video tonight if I can, or tomorrow, hopefully, just gotta find time, but anyways, that is it, and I'll see you again later.